I'm John Schneider with Fargo 3D Printing here at CES 2016. I'm at the Mark Forge booth with Gregory Mark. Uh, so Gregory, could you tell us a little bit more about yourself and about the uh, the printer, the Mark Forged? So we have the world's first printer that prints in uh, carbon fiber, fiberglass and Kevlar. And what it does is it allows you to design a part, print a part, and have a really strong part same day. Right, so for example, uh, we have two print heads. One print head prints uh, plastic, so in this case it's a, it's a nylon. Um, and then the second head, so this is a brake lever. This is a brake lever actually after Ducati, kind of nice. Uh, traditional plastic, it's flexible, right? Uh, and this is like four and a half dollars of stuff. Uh, this is like $35. It's reinforced with the second head with continuous strand fiber, uh, and it doesn't bend. That's the point. So you could, the, the point is you can use it. Functional, right. functional, functional print. Right. So how does the, how does it, well, I guess without giving too much away, how does that continuous f carbon fiber or the continuous uh, fiberglass strand, how does that work with putting itself into the plastic part of the print? Okay, so it's kind of like an extrusion head. We have, uh, you know, we develop software that basically you, you know, you design your part as if it was like a solid chunk of metal, right? And you import it into our software and like normal 3D printing, we hollow it out, we do all stuff. We have like uh, um, this, little beautiful fiber button right and you hit the fiber button and it will like automatically reinforce the part and 80 percent of people like that's what they do they automatically do it it comes out a bunch stronger and they're like right as rain for like 20 percent like like automotive companies aerospace companies or like super like tech geeks uh, you can go in and change the fiber orientation in different layers change the directions um, you hit print it bounces up to amazon down to the printer and goes and it'll automatically on each so there's the two heads, just like uh, normal two head printing, will automatically switch okay. layer by layer, right? And the carbon is uh, starts and stops in each layer, right? So you can do a little bit of carbon here, no carbon, entirely carbon, and it can vary through the through the through the length. So, for example, this piece is like uh, has shells of carbon in the middle and more on the top and the bottom, okay. right? So it's kind of stiff in every direction that you bend it. So what kind of customers are you finding are using the uh, using this printer? I mean, it, it seems like it seems like a very different type of user than someone who's going to go out and get just a basic FDM printer. Okay, yeah, so uh, we're most businesses. businesses. Right? Businesses or like hardcore hobbyists, right? But it's like mostly businesses, maybe 90% businesses. Like you've got that tripod over there, that's like a 3D printed carbon fiber tripod. It's better than any tripod you can buy, right? So if you're obsessive about having the world's lightest tripod, like you'll buy our printer and print a tripod on it. Right. And I'm also seeing a bunch of uh, like quadcopter stuff here as well. Everybody loves quadcopters. Like a bunch of uh, a bunch of our engineers, like that's one that our engineer, one of our guys made. This is another one. Like they love this stuff. And the the we're big in people who make quadcopters because uh, the strength to weight, right? Carbon fiber. Uh, you know, there's kind of uh, two use cases. There's people who just need strong parts, as if it were aluminum, like black aluminum. And then there's people who actually want carbon fiber because they want it to be light and like a quadcopter, right? Weight, weight's everything. So for uh, the quadcopter folks, man, it's like game changer. Very cool. Right? And like big companies making quadcopters. So price point, availability. Uh, the machines, the machines are shipping for a year and a half. Uh, we were, man, we were backlogged uh, all last year. We have like a two week lead time now. Okay. Uh, we've ramped manufacturer, which is good. Um, and the machines, there's two models. It's five and a half thousand for the for the one that does carbon fiber and fiberglass, and eight and a half thousand for the one that does Kevlar. Okay, right, so the Kevlar does carbon fiberglass and Kevlar. So what's different about the one that can do the Kevlar? Kevlar is gnarly material, okay. right? So it's uh, got a better blade, okay. right? And and it's designed for Kevlar is like extremely carbon's abrasive, but Kevlar's a different. If you take a Kevlar and you do a bunch of cuts on your scissor, game over. Right, and then like when you run Kevlar through metal things, it wears them down. It's like uh, there's a reason why it stops bullets, right? It's like uh, it's gnarly stuff. Right. All right. Well, very cool. I want to thank you again for taking the time, telling me about the. Uh, it's so the company is Mark Forged. The yeah. printer is the Mark One. You got it. Okay. All right. Very cool. Well, thanks again. Thank you. It's a pleasure. And this is uh, listening to a podcast of Fargo 3D printing. Thanks. <laughs>